no losses. He stands five feet three inches tall. Way USA, Jared the Monkey of G fighting out of the red corner. A big martial artist at 126 pounds. Fighting at a soiree para. Oh, and when the action begins, our referee in charge. Very much, Jenny, showing that we are all set for round number one. Married Brooks. Straight Whoa. in there by Figueredo. His running shoes on there. And then he got in the way. Gonna be cheering for him tonight. That is not a happy chant that he's hearing right now. And his fight name, DC, I mean, I had it down a little different. He was teaching a jujitsu class when he was at ATT in Indiana. And all him giving back as well to martial arts through teaching. Up against the side of the octagon, controlling the underhook and landing really good knees. And off during tonight's fights, use the code UFC Brazil and start south by Jared Brook. A little bit of flight time there for Figueiredo. He can stay in someone's guard all day and just thump it out from. He's doing a good job right now of keeping his hands tight. Going up. Well, Brooks doing very well to swim his arms in. Need to unlock his feet. He cannot keep his feet locked and hold him into the guard. Damage off. These are not glancing blows. He is really throwing. His shoulders. Lots of pressure. Oh. He's constantly moving his hands, constantly punching. Now you see figures with his right foot. Brooks and he's half guard deep. Threatened with that guillotine then. Oh. That was about. He did struggle with the weight cut a little bit. The more of these big... Had to go behind the towel to make the limit. Brooks never really has a problem making the weight, DC. In actual fact, he can keep his weight in check. Doesn't have to worry about that too much. It's important when he comes. Oh, and he's finishing very strong and up. So as finishing the takedowns on the mat, every time he gets to the legs, he's up on. When you get in those positions, say so he went from a double, but then he switched and yeah. put his hand in. To get it up, lifting your opponent with the weight in the middle is a lot easier. But the one that was really controlling the position, using it to lift him up. And Reigns down with a couple of big punches. Brooks getting to that double leg, walking him away from the fence so that figure right again, double leg, beautiful windshield wiper right there in the middle. See that person with the hand, use your hands to set up your takedown. He's thinking all you want to box him to transition to your takedown. Okay. Get the fight where we want to be and beat. Here we go, second round, you ready? Are you ready? Mouthpiece, they're pretty necessary. You need that. Fight. You will definitely need guard. We are now underway for round number two. Tetis, and he's been working on his kicks with him. Apparently had a lot of help to try to circle their opponents down to the mat. Right here you see away from the side of the octagon. You can only see him on UFC Fight Pass. Watch as the spider faces only on UFC Fight Pass. Big right hand landed there by Figueredo. You see his confidence gaining. Oh, look at the neck power from Brooks to pop out of block uh, taking off but he needs to be very careful on his next shots now back to his back to attack that guillotine Figueroa did say in DC with purpose to push off and get straight back to the feet well he take it down over and over does suck but it's much worse he's framing on the neck to try to pull his head up he's framing on the neck here you go it's so difficult whether to choose to pull your head out trouble you've got a frame you've got to put something against his face Three moments there for the corner of Brooks. That is being led by Jay. Right back to it. Before he was very comfortable laying on his back. Now he's out. You're, you're, you have a lot of... of, of you're, you're saying get to your feet. We'll start to tie it. The crowd not liking this. Put in the fight. Figueredo needs to get back to his feet. Yeah, he's doing a great job of posturing. He's doing a great job of actually... Can be rolled by Figueredo. What, what? Yamazaki, that is exactly what he's Deu looking for. Granby roll. Hey! During the roll, he must have grabbed. Look out for that uppercut. Get his hands down to try to time it up because if he does, he's side of the octagon. Here's a little nugget of information. So it's something that he does in his spare time. And that's great. That's DC. I'm terrible. There you go. Wow. That's big. Doesn't get enough space. Here he does a fantastic job of following as figure position. Great eyes there by Yamazaki to stop. Do not respect your punches back. So use your hands more. Believe in your own hands. Drink some water. 
Last round, let's go. In this flyweight contest, Figueredo versus... No touch of gloves, they get straight into it. Figueredo stalking Brooks. Well, not as clean from Brooks as they were early in the fight. Figueredo's trying to take his box. He is. Now he's attacking that guillotine again. Now this is tight. Now this is tight. To not panic in those situations and just be careful and cognizant. The corner of Brooks saying, make him respect the hands a little bit to get to the takedown. Another big takedown, fails. Brooks still on the legs of, of getting him up. Figueredo's doing the right thing though. This exhaust it's not like he's trying to conserve any energy no. here. He's still going for that high out. Should change his position. Yamasaki should not get involved here. He was back. Suplex coming. There we go. Nice there from Figueredo. He's showing. His arm is coming out. Turned his arm in. Figueredo's very dangerous. Figueredo's very dangerous. Jared Brooks under the tutelage of Michael Westbrook. Nice escape by Figueredo, and now he goes to work. Elbow. Oh! Left hook! Figueredo is going to He's coming inside the left. That allows Brooks to really attack that double leg position. He's, he tends to square up, and that's when Brooks is attacking him. For such small guys as well, DC, but the speed of Jared Brooks. He but he's fast, and he also has great timing on that double leg shot he's been hitting. Yeah, with that leaping jab as well. But it, so it's gonna take a finish. Search for openings. Figueredo dance now, DC, as you say, to try and get some points back on the scorecards. I think tonight he did fine. He used two in the bag, and right there again, attacks the double leg. Ten seconds, short time. Just a few seconds left, and he is safe. Here you go, Jared Brooks, double leg. Taking him out to the center of the octagon, finishing with. He did a fantastic job here. Framing with his left arm, attacking with the. I'm going to go up there. I think he won this fight. I'm going to go up there to try to interview him. Well, the judges' scorecards are being collected. I'm sure he took the wind out of Figueredo with some of those slams as well. How the judges have scored this one shortly. Figueredo is a note. You can't score it from the commentary position. Right here, just. Getting reassurance about how entertaining the fight was. Boxing moving off of that center line so that he doesn't eat so many heavy, heavy uppercuts. Okay, where well the scorecards are in, the judges have rendered their decision. Let's get it inside. Who scores the contest? 30, 27, Brooks. Dave, 29, 28 for the winner by split decision. Davison Figueredo. Did you feel like you did enough to win this fight? Você claramente para vocês que eu vou melhorar a minha defesa de queda. Eu guardo, é mais um show. No, I did next. After getting a win like this, you're still undefeated. You've had ainda invicto. Você já falou algumas coisas da categoria. Qual o seu próximo passo? Bruna, amo você, mãe. Um abraço para você, te amo. My next step is to go home to my family. My wife is here and all my family, everyone. O cara que estão me entrevistando aqui, Daniel Cormier, sou teu fã.